Hi friends and family, how are you? I'm on another adventure. <laughs> okay, now, today, my goal is to take you to a historic site that I like. Um, it is in Georgia, middle Georgia. I guess you could say Middle Georgia, but um, it's a place that when I taught school, I took my kids on a field trip because it was a part of our curriculum. And this place is Warm Springs, Georgia, and it is the location of a place called the Little White House. And this place is where residents Franklin Delano Roosevelt vacationed and actually spent his last days. I really like this place. I like this time in our history, the era. I like the uh, innovation. I like the technology as things were starting to develop. And so I wanted to share this with you, and I hope that um, you enjoy our tour, okay? I part purchased a discount CU Citizen ticket and began the tour. When you first walked in, there was a display on the right that showed the roles that women played during the time that FDR was in office. This was during the Great Depression and everybody was needed to help. On the left side was a card that was given to him by his brother-in-law. As we moved on into our tour, there were different types of articles that he used, his wheelchair, his braces, there's a hat, and also there were other items from the war, World War II. Uh, this is a typewriter that was used to inform relatives of the status of missing soldiers. This is his famous black car that he designed the gears for, and you see here, so that he could drive himself around. This is a dinner serving set that was used every day. And there was a beautiful bust of our president. Here are some things that belong to his wife as well. As I left the museum, I looked back over my shoulder, and this is the view. I headed up the ramp to the gates. Here is the guard shack and a bench outside. This is called a bump gate, where if you just bumped it with your car, it would open. This is the view of the three buildings on the site, the two outer buildings or service quarters and the middle building is the little white house we entered through the side door this is the refrigerator on the right and shelves on the left when you enter the kitchen you notice the sink on the left there's a prep table and there's also glasses. There are insect sprayers. There's a chair and that is a dish drain with a trash can. It's a sweet little kitchen here. And look at the lighting. 
The kitchen table. That looks like a waffle maker and some bread boxes. This is a toaster back in the day. And a tea kettle. This is the butler's pantry. But the, the purpose was in the late 20s, around 26, you know, FDR was out of politics from 21 to the run for governor of 28. So he's not in politics then. And that was an agricultural area primarily then. And a lot of it is today. But he said, I wish we could do something to help our young people who are losing their jobs. And Eleanor said, I noticed the farmer's sons were living there to find work. We're, le we're leaving our, losing our best young people. If we could find something for them to do, maybe we could keep them here. So if they donated the land, had his architect design the building, Ellen and her friends financially invested in it, and they made colonial reproduction furniture with a hand rope industry. So Eleanor had the Jefferson table built for FDR. It's a replica of the one Jefferson designed at Monticello. Hmm. It's the same size. Jefferson's is more beat up. Yeah. It's a little bit older, <laughs> and it has a pull-out shelf on this one. Well, Jefferson's is missing. Yeah, if you ever but get a chance to go to Monticello, go. I have been, I, and I've made a point of seeing this table, yeah. too. And they're the same size. Eleanor had somebody left the Valkill business. Valkill is Dutch for Valley Stream. The creek running through their property was called Valkill. They say stream. So they named the business after that. It's been probably about uh, six or eight years since okay, the last so time. You saw a lot of new things today. Yes. yes. That's good. Um, when you get up to the legacy with the unfinished portrait. It is even more dramatic because yeah. it makes some changes. They the, moved his switchboard down here and a wheelchair because they added to that display with the unfinished portrait. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see some new things up there for sure. Okay. The last time I came, um, I don't think there were rails, um, the guard rails and all. And you could. Yeah, we it. used to have her. Burgundy velvet. Oh, okay. Burgundy velvet ones when okay. I started here. I've been here 10 years. So what, that's probably what you saw. It may have been even yes. longer. Um, and then you, I don't know if you could come through the front or not. Um, the chair in front of the bookcase has been added. It was a gift to him from Georgia. And we had okay. his leather and we had to repair it. But it's been added. Um, that chair with the rollers on the bottom under the mirror used to be over there, but that was the one he used when he had, you know, what he did at the table. It's got rollers on it. Okay. But almost, well, you know, I think I said the switchboard was moved in. It used to be up in the legacy with the unfinished portrait. Um, but I don't have new air conditioning. <laughs> That's, That's true. That's the best thing. It's working That's good That's true. I know. cold, but... They like keep it at one temperature because the artifact. This is President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's favorite chair in his favorite room. This is where he spent most of his time when he was at the Little White House. This is where he was posing for a painting that was shown earlier and where he collapsed. He was later moved to his bedroom. This is the back platform or the back porch of the house, the little white house. And over here, you can see where there was a Marine Corps sentry post. This is the stairway that goes down to the back exit. This is the 
area that uh, look. And when he lived here, you could see 20 miles out. It was very, very difficult for anyone to come without being seen. And there's another Marine Corps sentry post. And I just love the design of this porch. These are the back windows. Beautiful. And in here is the secretary's room. We'll walk to the secretary's room. She had a private entrance. And as you came in, you can see her desk. That switchboard was once in the main living room, but they moved it out. There's her chair. A sink in the very back where her bathroom is. And here is her bedroom in an extra wheelchair. Okay. And of course, that's the room we just left a few minutes ago. Look at the lighting. It was electric lighting. the closet, flower arrangement and a beautiful dresser. The wood work is beautiful. Look at the bed. This is the original spread. These are all artifacts. Everything is original for it at the time. Coming out of the secretary's room, we go to the opposite end of the porch. And there's a sidewalk that leads down to under the porch where the sentries and the, marine, the uh, staff is there for security. This is the president's desk. All right. The original chair. He loves ships, as you can see, you have many oceanscapes and ship, pictures of ships throughout the whole house. It's a nautical theme. This is his bed.
This is the bathroom area. Bathtub. Probably about a dozen times. But FDR wanted to be independent. He mm -hmm. wanted to do things for himself. Mm -hmm. He could get in his wheelchair right here and he could go through that door. <clears throat> when he got to the toilet, he could shift himself from his chair and be independent. He didn't have to have help. Might have had to use. McDuffie. Mm -hmm. But when he got out, he could catch both sides of it and lift himself up and get it on his chair. And let me tell you what he loved to say. If you look at read any of the books about FDR, he said, I just love my little White House. He's talking about this place here. He picked this site. He said, I can get in my wheelchair, he designed that, designed that for himself. He can go through here, go
go out that door, someone would have to open that door because these are some heavy doors because mm -hmm. it's made of that long leaf pine. Mm -hmm. And I can go out there on my deck and I can look all the way across to Pine Mountain. These are the servants' quarters. This is Warm Springs downtown 